Hi, welcome to the session Optimization Problems with Constraints in SVM. So when you are considering the linear regression with loss function mean squared error, uh, here we have to minimize the mean squared error loss by changing the parameter value W. When we are considering the logistic regression, uh, so the logistic regression is using for uh, binary class. Uh, here, the binary cross entropy uh, log likelihood will be used as a loss function. We, here also, we are going to minimize the loss bus by varying the parameters W. This linear and logistic regression optimization functions not having any constraints, but the SVM is having the constraint. That constraint is here, the uh, YI multiply why oh yeah, this is ith sample of actual output multiplied with the predicted hypothesis of uh, ith sample hypothesis of ith sample should be uh, greater than or equal to one uh, like that we are having the constraint so intuition behind the uh, optimization problems with constraint is uh, explaining here uh, we will consider the equation z equal to x square y here we are maximizing the z uh, function by using x and y parameters. So here this is having the constraint x square plus y square equal to 1. So this function to be maximized with respect to the constraint x square plus y square equal to 1. In this plot we are applying the x and y value with respect to uh, changing the parameters here look at that x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 so this is the data point x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 so z is also 1 when you are giving the so whenever you are changing the values of x and y it should it should be equal to 1 it should be equal to 1 it should not uh, less than 1 or greater than 1 it should be equal to 1 so four cases are possible here then x equal to minus 1 and y equal to 1 so in this location also here we are uh, taking here x, x equal to 1 x equal to minus 1 and y equal to minus 1 okay so here we are taking z equal to uh, z equal to uh, minus 1 and in this location x equal to minus 1 y equal to 1 z equal to 1 so we are getting the uh, four data points like this based upon the given constraint so uh, what's the purpose of constraint when x and y values are increasing into infinity values from 0 to infinity the function also growing the function is here z equal to z equal to x square y x square y when you are increasing the x value and y value the z value function is also in uh, uh, growing infinitely infinity to infinity so we need to apply some constraint to avoid that here in this 2d plot we are uh, increasing the x and y value uh, one by one uh, slightly when you are uh, get uh, increasing the value of x in the positive direction y equal to also positive direction this red color line this red color uh, curve is showing that growing function growing direction and when you are increasing the x and y in negative direction which is this uh, blue color line showing the uh, growing direction the, fu the function is growing in this direction function is growing in this direction similarly for x equal to minus 1 and y equal to plus 1 so x equal to minus 1 this side the function is growing in this direction and x equal to minus 1 and y equal to plus 1 so the function which is growing in this direction in this direction so here we are uh, uh, we are the function is growing in four directions when you are changing the values so finally which is giving you the optimized value in this location in this location that is it is forming the circle what is the condition here x square equal plus y square equal to one so that's what here when you are applying the uh, applying the 
constraint which is giving you the circle based points so this optimization represents the point jet value satisfies that is touching the both optimization functions both optimization functions and uh, optimization functions and constraint functions Optima so here uh, the maximization represents uh, to select the maximum jet value among multiple jet values uh, that is if uh, uh, 50 jet values are satisfying the both function select the maximum value suppose if there is more number of values select the uh, select the maximum value so solving this optimization problem with constraints by lagrange multiplier so here the lagrange multipliers are used to solve this constraints solve this constraint that is also equality constraints and inequality constraints so the optim optimization problem with equality constraints will be solved by lagrangian multiplier so here the minimization uh, function of functional uh, the geometric margin with respect to w comma b subject to the objective function is past uh, greater than or equal to positive one to solve this quadratic programming problem with equality constraints apply the lagrange multipliers the lagrange multiplier uh, function is already given uh, summation of summation of i equal to 1 to m number of samples alpha i this is the lagrange multiplier here uh, with constraint function i constraint function is this one so when you are substituting that lagrange multiplier equation with respect to w b and lagrangian multiplier this is the mini objective um, uh, optimization function in this optimization function uh, we are going to add that constraint function we are going to add that constraint function so when you are adding that we will get this equation then we have to solve this by applying the partial differentiation with respect to uh, lagrangian multiplier equation uh, with respect to uh, w alpha and parameter b and make it equal to zero so uh, here example is given uh, we are trying to maximize the given uh, a function 200 w 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 by uh, using the w and b parameters here the constraint is equality constraint uh, to 20w plus 170b equal to 20,000. then we are applying the uh, lagrange multiplier equation so this is the optimization function minus lagrangian multiplier and constraint function constraint function so we are applying the partial differentiation to the lagrangian multiplier equation with respect to the parameter w and the parameter b and the lagrangian multiplier alpha so you are making that all the equations into equal to zero then when you are applying solving these equations we will get w equal to triple six point six six b equal to 39.12 alpha equal to 2.59 so in this when you are using only these data point i mean uh, values parameter values you will get the maximum value for this given function so when you are changing the parameter value then you will not get this value less than this value only we will get always so this is the way to optimize the uh, given uh, svm function Thanks for watching.